Hello everyone, I'm Aloko Abs and this is another first round match from the XKCD StarCraft 2 tournament number 2. This is the first game between the Red Zerg here on the top left, Invader Spleen, and right beside him on the map we have our pink Zerg, Gunfingers, and yes, you are correct, this is going to be a Zerg vs Zerg. So let's see what happens. Will we see mirror builds? Uh, they're spawning close, so uh, maybe some well, one of our our two contestants will uh, choose to uh, put pressure on early. They're close together. They might uh, be able to do that. So let's see. These uh, overlords both guessing correctly, just saying what's up as they move actually through each other on the way to scout the opponent's base. So uh, shortly they will all both know uh, what is going on in the other guy's base and they will know that they're spawning close to each other already sp uh, spotting the creep spread and here actually goes a scouting drone as well might be unnecessary unless he has some um, malicious plan to steal something like gas or something because you can learn everything he needs to learn from from the overlord by himself and the guy's gonna hang out and just run laps apparently this overlord is just uh, got content to hang out on top of him and we have our first expansion here and we'll soon see the expansion here the money is now ready and yes there we go let's run to it and we both have the same expansion. So Invader Spleen getting it a little bit earlier, but our uh, pink Zerg is a little, was a little bit ahead in, um, in supply, but he uh, plops down a spawning pool here. Do we have a spawning pool on the other side yet? So it's coming at the same time, so uh, both players are pretty equal. Just both droning up. Fairly close supply counts as well. And the scouting drone just deciding to take off. Well, the single drone shouldn't be much of a difference, but you could have done just uh, with just uh, the overlord. This overlord already moving on, probably just hanging out near uh, expansion locations to see what happens in the future. And both our spawning pools are up. So, which one of our Zergs will go for the early aggression and building some Zergings? Uh, it looks to be neither so far, of course. <laughs> and this expansion not being mined yet, uh, this expansion is being mined. And here we go, some transferring some drones from the main into the natural. And both players are pretty much mirroring each other so far. Spleen has uh, one more overlord apparently, and uh, using them effectively just uh, to spread his vision everywhere. So he will know when anything is coming, any type of aggression. And we have our first Zerglings, uh, four in total coming up, and we actually had two already out. And um, let's see, do we know about it? Uh, yes, we do. And we have the spine crawler up already. Just a single one, but that should be more than enough along with the queen. Uh, Roach Warren coming up for Invader Spleen. And uh, it took out some of this these overlords over here, so I, at this point Gunfingers has no vision at all. And he was momentarily supply blocked. More overlords are coming up. More queens are coming up, and Invader Spleen is starting to use the creep spread. Uh, no creep spreading so far from Gunfingers. Uh, yeah, Zerg versus Zerg. It's always interesting to see which of the players goes for more creep spread, as both players will pretty much profit from it, being able to move on their uh, opponents. Uh, Area pretty fast as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So three spine crawlers up now. It's more than enough defense, and 
more mirroring almost going on. Two spine crawlers on this side, both of course uh, trying to make it difficult to access the main base. Let's see what other tech is up. The uh, roach warren is up and we have a roach here. A couple of overlords hanging out. And lots of queens for gunfingers actually at this point. Bunch of static defense. And the metabolic boost halfway done for Invader's Spleen. As yeah, Gunfinger's not starting that research just yet. So the question is, uh, will s either of our players start to uh, attack first? Will we see a, a, a third expansion? And uh, a single Zergling taking a peek on different parts of the maps, probably taking the watchtowers. That's some good scouting information for Invader Spleen. Gunfinger's content to just drone up, get more Zerglings and more Zerglings. And uh, getting his Speedling upgrade as well. Lots of Zerglings morphing in right now for, for Invader Spleen. And an Overseer to get some vision. Painling Nest coming up for Gunfingers. Of course, the perfect counter to Zerglings. And double upgrade Evolution Chambers, but no upgrades just yet. we go. Both are now researching. Melee attacks and ground carapace. So Gunfinger's probably choosing a uh, Ling Bling style of pl play. And, uh, we have missile attacks for Invader Spleen, so we'll probably see a lot of roaches. Uh, more roach heavy builds. And nice job on this overlord placements, just spreading vision everywhere. And uh, Gunfinger is starting suddenly hardcore creep spreading everywhere. A whole shitload of. He's gonna lose this overseer here. A bunch of static defense uh, with these spore crawlers. And another asp Aspire is coming up. So we will see some Utahs. But Hydralis then perfect counter is coming up for Invader Spleen. This is going to be interesting. Both players not really deciding to attack just yet. No third expansion just yet. Just keeping it safe. And here we see our first force moving out. And let's see what Gunfingers actually can see of that. Nothing at all. So He's going to be checking for expansions over here. See what's going on. It's to know, of course. And he's got overloads in place here. And the third is actually coming up here. And that might be a bad timing. Uh, hopefully he'll see these Zerglings come up. And that'll probably force a cancel. The overlord goes down here and he sees them come in and pop! There he goes. It was cancelled. No way to hold that. And they're streaming around the back. Pulls back the drones. And the static defense. Massacring in. And some Zergings here blocking and uh, access to the other drones. A good defense. Very good defense here by Gunfingers. Chasing those away. And coming away pretty unscathed. All these drones are safe. And should probably get back to work. There we go. And moving back the long way around to get home. And these, ouch! These roaches are just standing around and getting taken out. They makes not the most efficient way to take them out, but they'll, they'll do. And Invader Spleen will have to rebuild those. More Bainings morphing in. Invader Spleen now also deciding to get a Baneling Nest. Do I actually have Baneling Speed yet? It's researching. And Hydras are on the way. So we don't actually have any mutas yet, but they've already been countered by a whole lot of these guys actually. So he's in good shape. And now Invader Spleen will get his expansion up first. And at this point Gimpring is just sitting on a lot of money. 
what's he going to do? He's uh, still researching the, uh, melee attacks level 2, ground burst level 2, and centrifugal hooks is almost done. And the bruised spines, the range upgrade for the hydralisks are on their way. So now we have a little defensive force, he'll probably be re rebuilding this expansion, yes he will. And some amazing creeps spread here. You'd think that Gunfingers was the one with the Hydralisks using all the creep spread, but it's actually the other way around. So, if he if, if the Invader's Spleen decides to attack with these Hydralisks, they're going to be nice and quick on the opponent's territory. I'm sure he'll be pleased about that. And, yes, both expansions are coming up. And let's see, we get this hatchery is going up to a hive so we might see some hive tech coming up soon it has good fingers done anything like that no just still on a lair and it has carapace so quick overlords will we also see ventral sacks coming up maybe some banding drops going up and oh here are the mutas and uh we have static defense in here, along with a lot of queens to repel those, so those are going to go back home. And at this point, all the overlords are spreading out everywhere, getting vision. That's awesome to see on the little map, mini-map. And he's going to see where the expansions are, so this guy is going straight to the third expansion here. And he'll...